everyone, I am Jacy from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make these super fun and easy doodle pumpkins. And these will be so much fun for people who like to draw like me. And so they're just doodle pumpkins and you make your own designs in every part of the pumpkin and it's just so much fun. So the supplies you'll need to make these are a pumpkin and I purchased a styrofoam pumpkin at the dollar store. You will also need a pencil and a sharpie marker. And this is completely optional, but you may want to cover your surface so that sharpie marker doesn't get on anything. And so today I'm using a paper plate, but you do not have to use this. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. To begin, I just want to start by telling you that this pumpkin that I've made before has 10 sections in total, so 10 designs. And the one I'm going to be showing you today has six sections, and so I'm going to do six designs. But you can do as many sections and as many designs as you want to do. So for this, you're going to use a pencil or a Sharpie. I prefer to use a pencil. And you're going to start by drawing out your lines and how many you want to have. So I'm just going to start at the top here and I'm going to draw one here and one across from it. Then I'm going to draw one here and one across from it. And then I'm going to do one here and then I'm going to do one across from it like that and now I'm going to take my sharpie or you can continue to use your pencil and you're just going to go down and start making your lines until you get to the bottom. Now you're going to continue to go around and make your lines like that and you're just going to continue for all of them. I have mine already finished. And now I'm going to show you a few designs that you can do. So for the first one, it is very simple. You're just going to go and make some loops. So at the top, I'm just going to make my loops. Like that. And then in the middle of each of them, I'm just going to go and make another loop. So in the middle and continue. Like that. Then in the middle of these, and do the next one. And then you would continue to do this all the way down. And this is what this design looks like here. And now we're going to start our next design. And this one is also very fun. You're going to start by going down by making lines. As many as you can fit. And in between these lines we are going to be putting dots. So make sure you put them far enough. And then at the bottom of them, you're just going to make dots. And then you're going to connect them all together. And then again, like I said, we're just going to put dots in the center of them. And see how this one is growing? It's going to grow throughout your whole part. So you're just going to continue to make your lines. And I'm going to add one here. And then make the dot at the end and then connect all the dots. And then you're gonna make a dot in the center of all of these. So this is what this design is going to look like once it is finished. So you're just gonna go down and continue what you've been doing all the way down. And now I'm gonna start my next one. And for this one, we're just gonna start by making a zigzag like that. And then I'm going to make another zigzag that matches it under it. And then I'm just going to color this in. So now it just looks like a very thick zigzag. And you're just going to put dots at the top of them. And then you're going to start your next zigzag. And then color this in. And you do not have to be putting these dots, but I like to do them. And then once you are done with this one, this is what it will look like. And I think it looks very cute. 
And now we're gonna start our next one. So for this one, you're just gonna draw lines all the way down. And don't make them too far apart. And so what you wanna do is make chevrons. So I'm gonna start going this way. So I'm gonna go up and down. And if you want, you can do one at the very top and I'm gonna do it opposite because they're going to switch every time. So you can just do it opposite. Like that. And I'm also gonna do another opposite one on this side because they switch. So I'm gonna do opposite on this side. And then on this side, I'm also gonna make one and it's going to be the opposite of the one I just did. So you're gonna continue to go down and you're just switching every time, switching the direction. And then once you are done with it, this is what it should look like. So now for our next one, you're just gonna start by making large circles. And now around them, you are just gonna color. So color it all in. So you would continue to make your circles and color it in all the way down. And then on the inside of your circles, you're just gonna make a circle, a dot. And you don't wanna make them too small, so just color them in. And then you would continue to make dots in these and just continue this whole pattern. And then once you are done, it should look something like this. And now for our last design, what you wanna do is make lines again and don't make them too close together. Make them far apart and just go all the way down making this. And at the top, I'm just gonna do lines. And don't make these lines too far apart either. And then in the next one, you're just gonna do circles. So now, once you're done making your circles, you're gonna make lines again. And you're gonna add more this time. And then you're gonna fill in the next part with circles. And now you're just gonna finish this and you're gonna continue the pattern all the way down. And once you are done making this one, it should look like this. So now you have a design for all of your parts and you're just gonna finish them. And then once you are done with them, you have made your very first Doodle Pumpkin. And it should look something like these, but remember, you do not have to do the same designs that I just showed you. You can do as many different designs as you want and you can make them up yourselves so you can get all creative. You are done. This is what it looks like when it's done and these pumpkins would make great room decor or gifts so I'm really excited to put this in my room. And I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is CraftLifeUSA so please tag me in a photo. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks for watching. Bye!